1959, the railway serving the colliery was made redundant and was about to close. The Leeds University Railway Society, under the extremely energetic leadership of one of the university's lecturers, Dr. Fred Ewell, formed a separate Middleton Railway Preservation Society. The society purchased an ex-Swansea and Mumbles Railway double-deck tram and borrowed the Hunslet Engine Company's works shutter to haul it. The two were put to work on the 18th of June 1960, operating a passenger service to raise funds for the university's rag week, and in the process, forming the very first passenger service operating on the preserved Standard Gate Railway. The service ran for six days, during which 7,700 passengers were carried. The Hunslet diesel was purchased by the railway for a thousand pounds, payable over ten years. The machine was historic, not only for its connection with Leeds and Hunslets themselves, but for the fact that it was the first diesel supplied to a mainline British railway, the LMS, in 1933. It was Hunslet's own diesel prototype, and after a period of loan to the War Department in 1940-41, was repurchased by them in 1945. It was as a freight branch that Fred Ewell and his university volunteers sought to preserve the railway. From September the 1st, 1960, a two trains a day, five days a week freight service was run, serving the factories on the Dartmouth branch of the Middleton Railway, primarily the scrapyard of Robinson and Birdsells and boilermakers Clayton, Sun and Company. The diesel was named after its designer John Alcock in 1961 and in 1962 was joined by the railway's second engine, the XLNER Sentinel Vertical Boiler Chunter, which we see being prepared for work in 1989 at the railway's headquarters, Moor Road, in the company of Packet 040 Saddle Tank Number 2003, John Blenkinsop. The Sentinel was built in the same year that the diesel became LMS property, 1933. It spent its entire working life on the LNER at Doncaster's Geneva Permanent Way Yard, becoming BR's departmental number 54. 